So one piece that, that I want to keep coming back to is the sort of hook to democracy, that if this is indeed about an informed citizenry and a hook to democracy, then we have to make sure that it's not a passive action, that in fact it's not just that you are individually distinguishing <coughs> propaganda from informed facts, but that you are in fact engaging in an associative living, as John Dewey would have said, about democratic life. And, and I think the press has everything to do with that, clearly, but we really needed a, a two-sided active engagement. Mm -hmm. I would certainly applaud, uh, Nancy, what you said, and, and also applaud Howard Schneider uh, this morning. That was a fabulous presentation. I think it made all of us just want to charge forward and say, of course. <laughs> We need that in our curriculum. We need it with our public, and uh, there's uh, substantial dialogue going on at Missouri uh, on these issues, and we're very much eager to learn here, and I was just pleased that a couple of our faculty here from Missouri are here to help, and uh, so to President Kenny, I also commend you and the faculty here at Stony Brook for setting the path on something that I think you're going to see enormous national impact from. And uh, President Cantor has said it very well. This has got to permeate our democracy and that's something that our Reynolds Journalism Institute at Missouri is dedicated to, journalism to serve democracy. Because, and I think that's why uh, Thomas Jefferson you know, favored the free press over, over even the vote itself, because unless you have an informed citizenry, you're not going to in, have citizens who can discern the news, what's really truly, quote unquote, the news, from everything else that it's embedded in, the communities that you talked about, the biases, the sources, the ownership of the press, all are, uh, the ownership of, of media generally. Uh, and today, as students and uh, faculty, very much germane for faculty education as well, let me say. And one big flag that went up in my mind was continuing education for faculty as an idea we want to take back, as well as uh, Stuart Lurie, who's in the audience here, one of our great faculty members, has uh, been raising the question of, should we not offer this? And I think he asked you that this morning, to the public at large, uh, something that I like very much. And let me just say, what hit me, and, we've, and, and Stuart's question to me before we came here on this uh, got me to thinking that, you know, we created land-grant universities at a time when we felt that true research-based knowledge was vital to the well-being of our society. You really wonder today if we don't need the equivalent of news-grant universities or colleges or an association of news-grant focused institutions because the, the, the news the news in contrast, and I'm using news as you defined it, in contrast to everything else, and trying to discern the news from the various biased multimedia uh, sources today does not deserve the kind of educational research-based thrust to define terms, to, to research, and to ensure that the consumer the de the, in a democracy has access to that uh, news-based, research-based knowledge that is the news. <laughs>